Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today, we are gonna be setting up a 40 gallon turtle tank for my new pet turtle. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, I'm talking like three or four years, then you might recognize George, the pink belly side neck turtle. He does belong to my buddy, Jake. We made a couple videos back in the day of us setting up this tank and then going to the store and picking out the turtle. And George has been living his life the past few years, but he has also been putting on size. He has definitely outgrown his tank, probably 30 something gallon tank. And Jake has decided it's time to hand George over to old Uncle Carson. So shout out to Jake. I'm gonna take real good care of George. But yeah, that is why we're setting up this tank today. And I was actually gonna put George in this 100 gallon tub back here. You can see it's full of water. But this filter I'm using started acting all goofy. It started leaking. So I'm gonna take that apart, see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. And we will get that turtle tub up and running as soon as possible. But for now, we are gonna be putting George in this 40 gallon tank. It is just a temporary home. We're just throwing something together with all materials that I have here at the house. And we're just gonna keep George in here until this tub is ready for him. But with that being said, this tank we're setting up today is completely suitable for a turtle of a smaller size. A baby turtle up to like three or four inches could definitely live in this tank long term. But once again, today it's basically just going to be George's hotel tank. And yeah, with that being said, let me tell you guys about the setup. Once again, real simple. We've got our 40 gallon aquarium here. We're going to be filling it to about right there with water, a little over halfway. We're going to do a floating basking dock in the back corner. I'm going to put a screw up in this stand here and hang the basking lamp above that dock. Then we're going to do an internal filter. It's actually right there as well as the heater. And then we'll probably throw a few artificial floating plants in there just to add some cover for George and that's pretty much gonna be it. I think George is gonna like it in there for the time being. And yeah, now we're just gonna get right into it and start filling this tank up with water. Alrighty guys, well, we got the water in the tank and now the next thing I wanna do is hang the basking lamp up there under the stand. All right, and now let's see how it looks in there. All right. Perfect. I just got the lamp all plugged in and we are going to turn that on. And yeah, it's looking good so far. And now the next thing I wanna do is add our basking area to the tank. And like I mentioned before, we do have a floating basking dock for that. These things are pretty nice. You just stick them to the side of the tank and this platform can actually slide up and down with the water level. So I definitely recommend one of these if you're trying to keep it cheap and simple. And yeah, we are going to get this thing in there and use the suction cups to stick it to the side of the tank. Get the bottom ones too real quick. And yeah, there it is, simple as that basking area is ready to go and now we just have a couple more things to do the next thing we're gonna do is get our filter in place this is a 40 gallon internal filter I know it looks small but this thing is more powerful than it looks and this thing also has suction cups so we're just gonna stick this to the back of the tank and I think we're actually gonna do this in the corner over here and now let's go ahead and plug it in and there we go and we'll throw some filter padding in there here in a second but first I do wanna get the heater in here and we are just gonna put that right here next to the filter. I just went ahead and plugged in that heater and I did stuff some filter padding down in there and threw some rocks on top to weigh it down. Oh, and before I forget, I do wanna add our water conditioner to remove the chlorine from the water. Gotta use this stuff anytime you're using tap water for your tank. So we're gonna dump it on in there. And now this tank is just about done, but there is one more thing I wanna add and that is just a little bit of artificial plants just for George to hide and hang out in. Also add some green to this tank, makes it look a little nicer and yeah, that's just about it. It looks good. Now I do want to give this tank some time to run for a little bit. Let that water get up to the proper temperature. Let the filter get anything nasty out of the water. But then we are getting George later tonight. I'm definitely excited to see him in this tank and I'm excited to show you how big he's gotten. Cause again, we got George when he was like maybe an inch long and now the dude's like four or five inches. You'll see. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys back down here later tonight. Alrighty guys, well it is later that night, probably like four, maybe five hours later. And if you take a look right down here in this bucket, oh, I just scared him. Sorry about that, buddy. But this is George, the pink belly side neck turtle. And yeah, let's take a look at this guy. He has gotten quite large over the years. And yeah, look at him, super active. His shell actually looks really good. You can see that color on the bottom there. And yeah, we're not gonna wait any longer. We're gonna get this guy in his 40 gallon tank. And I did just feel the water temperature, feels perfect. And there he goes. Kind of freaking out right now, that's normal, but he will get more comfortable in here with time. And yeah, let's take a look from a distance. It's a good sized turtle. And he does have plenty of room to swim around in there again until his tub is done. And yeah, there he is. What's up, George? What an awesome turtle. This is actually my third pink belly side neck. I've got the big fella right over here in the pool pond. Still haven't really named this guy, so if you have any name ideas, drop them down in the comments. It is a male pink belly. And yeah, you can see that guy is probably like seven or eight inches. But then right over here, we've got Toby, my smaller pink belly. And yeah, hopefully down the road, if one of these is a male, one of them's a female, could potentially get them to breed if we put them in a setup with a good land section, somewhere to lay the eggs. But yeah, that is pretty much all for now. We're gonna give George 
George the rest of the night to get comfortable in his tank. We will check up on him tomorrow and try to feed him. I'll probably update you guys on some of the other animals as well. But yeah, here is one last look at George for tonight. And yeah, with all that, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, well, it is the next day, and let's just go right ahead and check in on George. You can see he's hiding out in the back of the tank right now, but he seems to be doing all right in here so far. Definitely a lot more chill today than he was yesterday. But yeah, now I do want to see if George will eat in this new tank. I doubt he will, but we're gonna try. So I'm just gonna drop in some turtle pellets right over where he's hanging out, and yeah. Now we wait. A few moments later. All right, guys. Well, George is definitely still being a bit shy, so we're just gonna let him be. If he gets hungry, he's got a few pellets in there. He'll start eating eventually. It's completely normal for turtles not to wanna eat right when you put him in a new tank. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on George. I'll show you when he starts eating. Oh, and I did wanna mention, if you guys wanna pick up any of these products that I used for yourself, I'll have all of them listed down in the description. But yeah, so far so good with George and his new 40 gallon tank. I did wanna update you guys on some of the other pets here in the fish room. First of which being the pool pond here. You can see all of our cichlids and our turtle are doing great. And yeah, I'm going to drop in some pellets for them. Watch everybody munch away. Pool Pond is doing just great, and I think the next addition to it is gonna be this guy right over here in my 125 gallon tank. That is my red tail catfish, and we're gonna drop in some pellets to get him to come out. Yep, there's the big fella. You can see right there just how big this guy's gotten so far in this 125. I don't know why he was just standing up straight like that. This has gotta be my favorite fish now, just super cool. And yeah, he's probably right around eight inches right now. I think here in maybe two or three months, he'll be ready to go into the pool pond. And once he's in here, He's gonna start putting on size like by the foot. And look what we got going on over here. Midas chilling up on the basking area. It looked like Junior wanted to join her. But yeah, over here in the turtle pond, we got Midas basking. That of course is my albino red-eared slider. And she really does spend a lot of time up there on that basking area. Love to see it. But yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna show you for now. Everyone else is doing just fine, but I think my next video is gonna be a feeding all my pets video. So I'll save everything else for that. But yeah, that pretty much is gonna do it for this video. I'm obviously super stoked to add another turtle to the fish room. Once again, shout out to Jake for trusting me with little George. And yeah, other than that, today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.